Welcome to the Seafoam Isles Draft League, Season 2, Week 9, Game 2. Uh, this match is between Pharaoh, coach of Eternal Fractal, and Paco, coach of the Charleston Gastrodon. The Mega Pokemon in this match are Mega Beedrill and Mega Alakazam. Mega Beedrill for Pharaoh, Mega Alakazam for Paco. The Z Pokemon on each team are Z, Any, Indeedy, and Z Attack, Glycopod for Pharaoh. And for Paco, the Z Pokemon are Z Attack, Cobalion, and Z, Any, Ampharos. So, we're just gonna go into this game. Kinda neutral. It looks like Beedrill is really obnoxious for Paco, save uh, Gliscor, and I suppose also Alakazam, since it's really rare that a Pokemon actually outspeeds Beedrill, but Alakazam does, which is really annoying for Pharaoh. However, Pharaoh has a fair amount of priority to really shake Alakazam pretty freely. Uh, with the Golisopod or Scarf Togekiss, really, as well as in like potentially a V Scent of Scorch to Leech Life it or knock it off and probably one hit KO. B drill, yeah, B drill with uh, drill run just demolishes pretty much everything except for Gliscor. I th I don't know if B drill actually gets any type of priority to hit Alakazam, but maybe it does. So, yeah. Gliscor is really important for Paco to keep alive in this match. It looks like very few things can actually answer it. Maybe burning it with Sun of Scorch is a possibility. Like burning it on Switch. And Golisopod could also, like, Aqua Jet it, Waterfall it, etc. Just do a lot to Gliscor and really annoy it. Bastiodon could run that Metal Burst set to deal with it. There's a lot that Pharaoh has to mess around with Gliscor. But from Paco's side, yeah, Gliscor is really, really good. And Alakazam is also incredible. It's just Glycopod, I feel like, is the equivalent on Pharaoh's team to Gliscor. It's like a lot of, like, there are a few things that can deal with it. It's just, you know, your main threats have to get through Glycopod first. So, that's all. Leeds guesses are B, Nope, Bastion, and yeah, Gliscor. I don't think it was like obvious, but Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock, trading, Gliscor goes for Roost, uh, in comes Chestnut, this is not a Toxic Orb, Gliscor, which is interesting, maybe it's like Hypercut or something, Spiky Shield is used on Acrobatics, which does 12 to Gliscor, Acrobatics is used again, just explodes. Chestnut. I think that was the the correct play by Pharaoh. It, it it is unfortunate that I had to go like that, but I feel like that was the correct play because if you go into Bastiodon, you are now able to get earthquaked and die without because Pharaoh Bastiodon's whole stick is that Metal Burst stuff, and Rocks plus Acrobatics is enough to make it so it can't get to Sturdy in one turn. So, I mean, maybe going into it and then protecting was smart. However, it's kind of just uh, sitting at a stalemate with Gliscor at that time, so I don't really see how it would help. So in comes Togekiss, offensive switch here. By Pharaoh, good way to get uh, Gliscor off the field. Psychic is used, doesn't do a whole lot. Leftovers is nice. 
However, maybe Boots would have been better. I, I think that Leftovers is honestly fine. Thunderbolt does minimal damage, really. Focus Blast will do like everything and a half to this guy. So. <laughs> yes, we are both going to protect the Protectception. So, in comes Gliscor again. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Hello, friend. <laughs> Protect is... <laughs> so far, a whole lot of nothing has transpired since the death of Chestnut. And um, Earthquake is able to put out Bastion on. So as soon as I say nothing happened, something happens. And that is... Died. <laughs> Poison Jab is used. Does 25%. Honestly, more than I thought. Poison Jab... Prox Acrobatic kills B. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's like the one time you don't want Poison Jab Poison. You get Poison Jab Poison. And then... Now you're in a really bad position. Because all three... Well, two of your Pokemon get Acrobatics. And your third Pokemon gets Acrobatics as well. Uh, that That's unfortunate. Yeah, down goes friend, the Santa Scorch. I, I'm going to go on a limb and say that that was unfortunate. First impression only does eighteen percent. So, how much would Aqua Jet have done? Like thirty, forty percent, forty percent, roughly. I, the poison is making this like impossible to kill, for Pharaoh. Emergency exit gives Togekiss a free inning. Acrobatics only does 39%. So this is too slow. Oh, that's so rough. Does it have Protect and Air Slash? No, it's just dead. And this dies on rocks. Ooh. Well, I mean... Uh, offensive Gliscor had its game and did a lot. And by did a lot, I mean it um, did any everything. It, it made dinner, cooked, like washed the dishes, did the laundry. Uh, you know, did the homework, all of that. It 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 just glide scored. That did, did glide score. And while I don't expect this to come every week, because honestly, glide score really loves defensive sets. It's just, I think it was just a perfect storm of unfortunateness because poison jab triggered and it, the one time you don't want it to happen you poison jab into a poison heal offensive play score and yikes i feel like that that poison jab didn't trigger maybe glycopod with aqua jet could have fronted these like halted the sweep somewhat but unfortunately it did not have boots. It did not have Aqua Jet, and it was thwarted by this demon. So that is game two. I'll see you in maybe game three, maybe game four. I don't know.